Okay, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the problems with the $1,200 stimulus check package that everyone is curious about. And it's not just financial, it is more so on a psychological level. And if you don't understand certain parts of these concepts, it will ruin you financially for the rest of your life, allowing you to feel like a victim and never actually getting ahead of your life. So if that's something that you don't want, then stay tuned on this video. So I normally don't do these types of videos because uh, quite frankly, I don't really have the time to uh, with everything that's going on in business wise, but I wanted to make this video to just kind of show maybe some of like the psychological problems when it comes to the $1,200 stimulus check that everyone seems to be making videos on on YouTube. And what I want to kind of paint the picture in this video is a different perspective that could probably do you more uh, benefit than actually just waiting for the $1,200 stimulus check to arrive. Um, and if you're somebody that is just wants to play the victim, that wants to uh, depend on the government to uh, you know, survive, or maybe you feel like you're a victim and, and you don't want to do anything, then maybe this video is not for you and you should just stop this video right now. Uh, but if you're somebody that you know hates the fact that you have to depend on the government for this and maybe you actually need it right now you have a family you have bills and you have no clear way or vision on exactly how to get out of your financial rut due to either your current job situation your current education system your current financial situation and then this is something that is more in lines with what will resonate with you now overall i've been looking at so many stimulus videos, right? Like like in the past 24 or 48 hours, everyone and their moms are making stimulus check videos um, to really just like rank. And, 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 and like, I'm guilty of this too. I'm using this to just rank on YouTube as well. But I wanted to give you guys something that's a lot more optimistic and hopeful, right? Because as I see this, you know, a lot of people right here, you could see there's about 25 million people that are depending on the federal unemployment benefit and which the government will then stop doing that by July 31st. So here's people that were depending on the source of income and now the government will stop it, right? And now with this going on, you have a lot of people now waiting for the next $1,200 stimulus check. You have a lot of people saying, oh, look, there's free money. Let's see if we could get some. And what is actually happening right now, I want you to just kind of like keep an open mind um, and understand this is it's preventing you from actually having the harder conversation that you need to have right now, instead of just focusing on this band-aid solution, which will just prolong the inevitable and just getting you back to that financial uh, problem that you originally have. Like these people that were making the extra $600 a week from the unemployment checks, that's going to stop. All that time did from when they started receiving it from when the pandemic happened is it just kind of like pushed the problem and the bigger problem at hand it was just like fixing the symptoms instead of actually fixing the root cause of things and that is just financial literacy and not seeing that actually right now there's more opportunity than there is fear for only a certain percentage of people that could actually see it and that's the conversation that i want you guys to have right now because when when we're playing this victim mentality, when we're waiting for you know the government to bail us out or we're waiting for someone else out there to help us in our situation, what that ultimately is doing is just putting us in a disempowering state and making us not actually see all the things that we could actually do right now. It's making the government a lot more powerful than our own self-decision and our own judgment. And it makes us just waiting around for a solution and takes us away from our creativity and our sense of problem solving that every single one of us as human beings actually have. And that's the reason why I want to make this, you know, because you can depend on a $1,200 like stimulus check, but guess what? The problems that you have right now they're going to continue to be a problem once that money dries up because let's face it, that $1,200 is going to last you how long, right? And then what? You're going to wait and depend on another stimulus package. And I know for some people that are in a bind right now, it could be the difference between life and death for their family. But how often do you want to depend on a next 
unforeseeable stimulus check that, you know, you're just waiting away and just really feeling more uncertain and more insecure about everything that's going on. And that's why I wanted to kind of paint this picture because what we're about to go to, what we're about to go through a recession, maybe even like a crazier depression with more and more people losing their jobs, their finances, their homes, like everything you see will, will begin to start crashing. I want to paint you guys what actually happened in the previous recessions, in the previous depressions, because odds are, you know, this hasn't happened the first time. And you know this, right? For many people that are actually experiencing this right now, this isn't the first crazy financial situation that we're ever stuck in, right? There was a lot further and more uh, depressing situations. But from this, we could actually look at this and I could just put the links uh, below. I saw this on Medium. It was written by Kelly uh, Berkgaard. And here were like 13 massive companies that were started during a recession, right? And this, these are people that started it that didn't actually look at videos like, oh, I need to wait for a similar check package. They saw that there was opportunity in the marketplace and they created a company or a business and then they made a bunch of money from it. So here's the thing, right? People are thinking, oh my God, the recession of 2020, uh, it's going to be crazy. A lot of people are going to lose money. It's going to be whatever, but it could be the best of times for some people. Like for example, General Electric, we all know them who they are right now, but it was launched in 1892. And in 2019, they had a $95 billion revenue, but it started after the panic of 1893, where businesses nearly dropped 40% across the nation. Then you have General Motors. It launched in 1908, right after uh, you know the panic of 1907. You have IBM, $77 billion. The year launched in 1911, and it just happened right after as well. It happened with Disney. 1929, it survived really the Great Depression, um, and it just keeps on going. HP, $58 billion, started in a recession in the Great Depression. Hyatt started in the recession of 1958. Trader Joe's started in the recession of 1958. FedEx started in 1971, Microsoft started uh, in all of these low times, literally just days after the recession. Microsoft, I know Bill Gates is kind of like in some deep like doo doo right now um, from everything that you see. If you want to get into like this conspiratorial stuff, uh, but you know he was still able to do 125 billion in 2019, um, and he launched just several days after the recession. It just keeps on going from all of this and. What I wanted to paint the picture with this is when you're watching these videos, when you're looking at all of these ways to just find out how you could get this instant gratification or immediate gratification of uh, getting this $1,200 to just kind of prolong the inevitable of the suffering that you're going to have to do. What if you just had a harder conversation with yourself and asked yourself, what actually put you in this decision and in the situation where you are now depending on the government to actually bail you out. And when this happens again, because this happens every like five or 10 years, right? Because markets happen in cycles. Are you going to be guilty of being in the same situation where you're waiting for somebody else to decide if you get to have food on the table or not? And I know it may seem really difficult right now. You know, it almost may even seem impossible right? And, and this $1,200 check could be, like I said, the thing that makes or breaks it for you or your family. But it's in these times of struggles and challenges and just fear, do actually really strong entrepreneurs are created and born. Um, because the thing about, you know, the stimulus check is, like I said, is it takes away from your creativity. It takes you from your ability to just see the opportunities out there because you think that the $1,200 that are coming in are going to go and save you. But like I said, if you didn't have the $1,200, if there was no such thing as stimulus checks, and you had to decide if your kid was going to have food for this evening, you're not going to wait for the government to put food on your kid's table. Like odds are you're going to figure it out. You know, this happened for me, you know, when I was like in college and like we didn't have any money to really pay for the bills. Like I remember, you know, my dad actually asked to ask me money to borrow, to pay for our education because we didn't have any money. We even maxed out all of like the loans and it was just like a disgustingly horrible situation to witness on just going through all that financial distress. 
There was no bailout for me, right? In in the worst of financial times when, you know, I was stuck on the other side of the world, right? And all income sources were just gone and I had to provide for my family and I also had to pay for my sister's education. There was no bailout for me to get myself out of that situation. And I think the reason why I'm not freaking out as much and why I'm not going through crazy and just like really depending on these paychecks uh, from the government is because I have been in such worse situations in my life, financially, emotionally, spiritually, physically. And there was nowhere for someone to come in and help me. Like no one ever came to me. and was like, Mike, do you need help? Oh, let me help you, buddy. And just like pick me up from the ground. Because if they did, I wouldn't have grown as much, right? It's like when you go to the gym, uh, you only grow to the direct extent to how heavy it is, uh, the weight that you are lifting. But if you have somebody that is lifting the weight for you, you're not going to be one that grows. And that's kind of where we are in this situation with the stimulus check. This is kind of like the problem that I have with it. I know it's good for a lot of people, but not so if they depend on it so much so that when the $1,200 is up, then they're constantly looking for the next hand me out. I'm telling you guys this right now. There's so much opportunity right now, as you guys can see from this Medium article. And I want you guys to ask yourself a situation and a question when you are looking at all of these YouTube videos. And... When you are watching these videos, are you doing it in a place of scarcity? Are you doing it in a bit, uh, place of fear? Are you doing it in a place of doubt? Are you doing it in a place of fear? Because most times when you make decisions out of fear, it's really, really, really bad. That's why a lot of rich people get richer around this time. You know, Jeff Bezos, I saw an article, he just like added an extra $17 billion to his net worth. Uh, there's so many people out there that are making money on a lot of people's stupidity, fear, and uh, just anger and their victim mentality. And what I wanted to make this video on is to really just like wake people up and kind of like raise where people's energy levels are and just let them know that this doesn't have to be the worst of times. You may actually need this stimulus check package, but what if you were just a lot more smarter with your finances once you get it and start seeing that, okay, maybe... I could actually, instead of just depending on this, what if I just minimize uh, my spend here? What if I don't uh, buy that expensive brand of oatmeal and I just get the cheaper ones and you start cutting your budget and you start realizing, oh, wow, I still actually have a little bit of money from the stimulus check where I could start a company, where I could start an online business. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like a Microsoft, like a Trader Joe, like a Hyatt, but with anybody out there, this is one of the best opportunities to start an online business that you don't have to spend or depend on a $1,200 stimulus check, but you got to build something that more money comes to you over and over and over and over again. And that that's, that's what I want to just encourage you and inspire you to open up your eyes and to wake you up that this may be a bigger problem than just finances. It's people depending on the government to actually gain finances when the truth of the matter of the fact is there's a lot of people that are gaining and increasing their finances because they're serving the problems that are existing right now. Like I can't tell you how many opportunities out there um, that will pay more than the $1,200 stimulus check that is actually a lot easier and will actually move you further. Like I saw this article the other day where, you know, this vet is actually killing it right now with his services because now a lot of people can't take their animals to the vet. But guess what? The people, the animals still have a problem that needs to be solved. So the vet is literally going to houses and creating services and products for the people that can't bring their animals to the vet. Um, and there's so many things out there. There's so many businesses out there that are struggling, for example, to get online. Here's an example of making a quick two grand this, uh, this week where you don't have to wait for the government to slowly send your stimulus check. And that's working with businesses that need help getting online. You know, you know how easy it is for you to just like YouTube, how to make money online or how to run Facebook ads for local businesses during quarantine. And there's going to be like a countless amount of videos. You know, I don't have to create it because there's already so much videos of those out there. But if you just take one of those videos and you did that as a service to any one of these chiropractors, doctors, vets, restaurants, that will pay you more than the $1,200, uh, similar check and not so that it's just one time, but it's going to be something that happens over and over and over again on a monthly basis. 
And that I think is more empowering than waiting for somebody to just hand you money that isn't consistent because you may be able to feed your family this month, but what's going to happen next month? Are you going to depend on another stimulus package? Are you going to depend on another handout? Or are you going to finally have that conversation with yourself and ask yourself, wow, maybe if it's meant to be, it's up to me. For things to change, maybe I need to be the person that needs to change. And instead of thinking and wishing for things to be easier, what if I just wish I was better? Instead of wishing for less challenges, what if I just had more skills? Instead of wishing for less problems, oh my God, the, pro- the coronavirus or quarantine or whatever, or my job or, or my business, what if you just wished for more wisdom and skill? And that's something that is readily available to you. You could spend all of your time YouTubing the $1,200 stimulus check package, or you could spend the time growing your mind and growing your skill set and growing the value that you could create. So that's just a really quick thing. Um, I wanted to give credit where credit is due. You could check all of these, uh, uh, what's it called, articles in the links below. And hopefully this guy's wakes you up, right? Because if this can wake up just one person to just see, wow, I don't have to depend on a $1,200 stimulus check. I could actually just create wealth for myself. Um, then this video would be worth it. So thank you guys.